All right, welcome back. Scott Oshman along with Tim Boyle, John McClain. Executive producer, five-tool player, Todd Elvig. You're watching Glacier Peak Varsity Girls Basketball here on the STSPN.com network. John McClain, Tim Boyle, what do you think about, now Tim, you did football all year. McLean, you were in the football bo booth doing stats. I mean, which is easier, which is better? Come on, let's. Well, stats are the most difficult thing you can possibly do. <laughs> <laughs> Takes up. Uh, I'd say football is a little easier, but. Uh, you think football is easier? Well, there's a lot more prep work that goes on in the football. Um, but, you know, Glacier Peak plays that fast spread offense, so there, it's kind of easy to, kind of an easy to call and talk about during the game. Uh, but there's too many kids on the field to try to figure out who's who and what their numbers are. And that's why we got a. That's why we got a spotter in the booth. We spare no expense. Now the one big <laughs> difference is you can see maybe you can't, but our our setup is about a quarter the space as it is for football. I mean football, oh, yes. it's out of control. I mean we take up how many feet of you know just monitors alone. Whatever well, feet you give us, we're taking <laughs> up. Well, wait till next year; it's going to increase <laughs> exponentially, especially if we throw another camera on and have somebody down on the field that's Got right our next year we're going to have a sideline reporter yes we are right todd elvig we're going to have to have oh, a yeah. separate producer from the cameraman <laughs> <laughs> instead of a one-stop shop like we have now who knows todd's hey. going to have to become a six tool player i Ooh. tell you what Get we the whole bag we uh, we're talking right now about sponsorship for football and all kinds of further winter sports. We'd like to do a baseball game this summer, uh, or ten, or, or a few. We don't know. Wasn't but there's some talk about wrestling. And there's talk about. Well, did you go last night? I yeah? didn't end up getting it there in time, but uh, it was kind of a blowout last night. Anyway, there was mostly forfeits. Uh, Terrace didn't have a lot of wrestlers that the weights and uh, so there was a lot of forfeits uh last night so uh didn't miss much but i am going to get to one and uh we'll try to we'll try to broadcast one and that would be fun yeah. now the the boys we've we've done several about what four boys basketballs they're having a decent year the team's starting to come together mclean yep yeah exciting to watch too fast paced action good team bunch of nice kids middle of the yeah. pack right now yep. i mean terrace is the just on fuego i mean they have not no one's even come close other than glacier peak yeah glacier peak played them tough and uh, i think could do it again too it'd be nice to see that matchup one more time see i thought glacier peak i thought they were kind of lucky to be as close as they were in that game they, they did play them tough but it seemed like it seemed like they were kind of getting blown out the whole game, but they were only down by like six. They were hanging on. They were, they were hanging doing. on. Yeah. It was it was a weird game it because it felt like it w they were right in it, but yet they really never got too close. Yeah, it didn't seem like Terrace was in any danger of losing that game, even though they no, were. They really even though it was close a lot of the game. Well, it was what tied at halftime, right? I don't think it was tied. Well, yeah, was it, it was tied? tied at halftime? Oh, I mean, it was crazy. Yeah, it was 38-38, I think, or something at halftime. But, all right, well, switching gears now to local stuff, right, timely stuff. I mean, who are you guys picking uh, going into? You want to talk a little NFL? You want to talk? Oh, yeah, let's talk NFL. I mean, Tebow time was unbelievable oh, last Sunday. that was Sunday. unbelievable. And, you know, the funny thing about that is, you know, you're hearing all the announcers and stuff. They're not even calling Denver Denver. They're saying New England's got to play Tebow. You know, it's amazing how much press the guy's getting. However, love the guy. I think, is, I think the streak runs out this week, though. I just don't think they're going to be able to. I mean, New England's going to score so many points. I don't think Denver's offense is going to be able to keep up with that score. But that's what they said when he played Pittsburgh. Well, with Pittsburgh, it was a little bit different. They didn't think they didn't think Denver would be able to score any points on Pittsburgh. I'm personally happy to see, happy to see Mr. Mr. Roethlisberger. Big Ben. Big Ben go down. Yes. Oh yeah, nothing made me happier. I think Mr. Boyle's got to have a little more faith. Oh, I have faith. <laughs> I hey, I'm a believer. I am a believer. And I actually hope I would nothing would make me more happy than to see him win again. I just love yeah. it when the underdog wins. Oh yes. This just in prep girls basketball, Stanwood twenty nine, Edmonds Woodway twenty six, that's a halftime score. Meadowdale also leads thirty three to eighteen at half over Everett. 
We I don't have the, boy, the boys the Glacier score. Peak boys update, do we? We don't. I'm checking uh, multiple places for that and okay, finding boys, nothing. But we're on. back to action okay. here. Marysville Getchell opens up the second half with the ball. 39-7 here as we open the second half. Getchell. Shoot it. There's oh. a nice shot by Wika, the freshman, gets on the board, open it up, nine points now for Getchell. Now it's a close game, folks. <laughs> Great play out of the break. Rasmussen now. Gets it into Hawkins. She's going to get Hopkins. called. What happened there, McLean? That must have been way before she caught the ball. I didn't, I didn't see it uh, from my angle. Coach Hill was in my way. Could you get him to get out of there? <laughs> Turnover for Glacier Peak. Hawkins, that's her second. Hawkins probably not going to get a ton of time tonight. Lloyd Bennett turnaround, no good. Rebound, Dushak. Glacier Peak using this opportunity to uh, practice their 2-3 zone. Weathersby in there, junior. Again, I mean, they're stacked at the junior level, and also, you know, Nicole Fossey, their 6'4 kid, they, they should be good for, for a couple years, John, shouldn't they? For a couple years. The freshman team is undefeated, and I believe the C team is as well. So there you go. Hawkins in the paint. Nice little right-handed jumper. And she used the board there, John. Yes, the glass. Six for Katie Hawkins, 41-9. The 41 bank nine. is always open. <laughs> the bank is always open. Come on, guys. we got to get the cliches flowing here, the basketball cliches. I'm trying. Deshaq. Oh. Starting to feel it, baby. Nothing but nice. net. Seven for Kaylee Deshaq. And they're matching baskets with them in the second half. 41-11. That's good. You want to see that. Turnaround oh. jumper by Gear is good. It's it's a shooting match, boys. That's Julianne's first bucket, I think. It Julianne is. Julianne, it is. Yep, first bucket, two points. This is like one of those old Loyola Marymount oh, games. Stripped. <laughs> oh, oh, taken tough. down. Oh, they called her out of bounds. What about the foul? Dude, they took. You can't just take her out. It of looked the like D's. a chop block. You Lloyd, know? Lloyd Bennett there. Did you see that over the head? Was that the Statue of Liberty? Was that the <laughs> Was that the Oklahoma Boise State it was. ball play there? Well, and then Katie got chop blocked out of bounds, and <laughs> no flag. You guys are mixing your sports up here. No laundry on the field either. To Shaq. Oh, you can't Shaq. stop the Shaq, baby. She They're gonna have to do a hack a Shaq. They're at thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> One point away from their last uh, high score. 43 13, 539 in the second. Oh, no look oh, pass from Katie. A pass that kind of was a pass. Gear should have oh, been able oh, to oh, 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 She got rid of it. it. Left oh. stand, uses her right and left. You got to get it to the hot hand. Got to find Deshek. Wika. I want to see Trilio. this gal Trilio. throw up another three ball. They're getting it alone. Look at the Shaq. from like 27 feet. She wants it. She's on the left elbow. Thought oh. about it. Oh, they ran out of get clock. It. I could hear the coach yelling, shoot the ball. <laughs> well, when you run out of time, you got to just launch. I got my earphones on. I can't hear what she's saying, but she's not happy. No. We talked to Coach Grand Boys before the, before the game, and she is the nicest gal you'd ever want to talk to. She thinks the world of these girls, too. Oh, Hawkins she got away misses. with another walk. Yeah, there. left stab with a rebound. Took a few the steps. Jack hauls it in. She's got track on her mind, John. She wants to run. She does. Wika now. Launching. Oh, there it is. Oh. no good. Oh, and, and the there's Lefstad, the fast one. Nice looking shot from the top of the jump there. Yeah. Oh. oh. Boy, GP not doing a good job of taking care of the ball. No. Kind of sloppy here opening minutes. 416 left again. Well, the pace, of, the pace of play kind of picked up a little bit here. 43. Sorry, no, it's okay. 43 13. 
Nice inbound oh. play. And Julian and they Gear. The board. They call that the Canadian two. swish. Yeah, you, you <laughs> notice. <laughs> you notice what, John? Well, you notice the Chargers on the out of bounds, you know, defensively go to a 2 3, just like a lot of teams do, because it's easier to keep track of people. Hawkins and the other way. They just had their backs turned when Gear came in, so she just snuck right in on them. Very crafty on her part, but. They got to do a little bit of job of keeping track of everybody. Shouldn't be that easy to get the ball inside like that on the 2 3 zone. Hawkins running the court from the left side, flipped it with the right hand, and Hill was there for the rebound. And oh. no good on the first here one. Here comes a new set of players here for Glacier Peak. Hill didn't look like she was shooting that ball, looks like she was just throwing it up. The foul was on Trujillo, that's her third. Chargers have to be cognizant of the fouls. They just don't have too much depth. Hill knocks that one down. Eight points. 46-13. Place your peak on top. Look for Lloyd Bennett, high post. 42 to oh. Shaq for the black and green. Oh. Left stab there, hustling the track star. I didn't notice didn't we the had handle. the grizzly mascot over there. We do, you're right. I didn't even catch that. It's right in your screen. I don't know well, that I did we have the did we have the grizzly at the I, football? I never saw this, the grizzly. I was gonna say, is this new? This I could think be a we new did. grizzly. We were just up so high in the stands. You Maybe guys they did paying attention to what went on, no. on the sidelines. Even when I was calling the play-by-play -play for the ball boys. <laughs> <laughs> Gaffney misses, but she'll go to the stripe. 3.23 left in the third quarter. 46-13, Glacier Peak. Number 12, Alyssa Balan checking in. One of the things I noticed, guys, th this year compared to last year is uh, Fossey can really handle the ball a lot better than she did last year. Last year, she kind of had a little bit of butter fingers, and then she's really improved her ball handling skills this year. Well, having to work with that big brace on the one hand for half the season really got helped. It, it now probably she's did. Got off. Yeah, she's really good with her hands. Misses, but India's oh, there nice for rebound. the putback. Three points now for India Smith. 49-13, Glacier Peak. Glacier Peak doing a real good job of spreading the ball around, getting everybody involved in scoring. Moving around now is Getchell. Got to move. Twelve fast. left there on the go. shot clock. Oh. There's DeShack's first miss of the second half. Oh, threw it away. But she'll get another shot at it here. Glacier Peak needs to be a little more selective. Good opportunity for Glacier Peak, and that's what Brian Hill was talking about—to work on some kind of details, some stuff they need to sharpen up. That's where I think they're working on the 2-3, working on the zone. It's not really a 2-3. Nice like I said, it's like a 1-3-1. One, one. Hill, the layup. It's good. Tori Hill with 10 points, having a heck of a night. Beelan now, number 12 with the ball. Trying to get to, to Shaq. Three ball. Oh. Good. By 40. Stordahl, Katie Stordahl, our first three of the night. First three for either team. Yeah, right? yeah. 51 16 now. Nope. Oh, nice block by Lloyd, Lloyd Bennett. Bennett. Yeah, very good. Left all stand the all the way. And in. In. Coast, coast to coast. coast. <laughs> <laughs> Four points oh. for left stand. Oh. Boy, Getchell coming alive here in the second half. They are. Well, they've definitely, definitely beat their uh, last game total of 14. So no, that's they're going to be happy speak. about that. Coach will be happy. So we're not seeing Rasmussen or Hawkins a lot tonight. Those are the leading scorers. For Glacier Peak. For Glacier Peak. Here's Lefstad again. Nowhere to go. Just gets rid of it to Smith. 
Got herself stuck down on the baseline. Weathersby. Didn't get any help either. Weathersby had a clear lane there, didn't take it. Fossey. Nicole should have just turned and shot that. Yeah, I thought so too. Nice little baseline move there by Sarah Smith. She's not used to having absolutely no defenders on her. Out of bounds, it'll stay Getchell ball. 51-18, a minute, two left in the third quarter. You're watching Glacier Peak Varsity Girls Basketball here on the Snohomish Times Sports Network, stspn.com. Oh, nice steal there. Another Smith steal all by the way. Smith. Layup, nice good. Left stand, nice hustle. Which Smith was that? I think that was Sarah Smith. Yes. Nice interior passing. Lloyd Bennett off Fossey's foot. Marina Wika, checking back in. Wika again, the freshman comes in, gives Lestad a little break. Lestad, she's fun to watch. She's she all is. over the place. She is yeah. running. She is hustling. What year all these is girls she? are hustling. Lestad is a junior. A junior. Yeah, Melinda with the rebound. Oh. There's another three oh. ball. No, they say it's a two. Oh, I thought it was a three. For Wika. Oh, come Wika. on. Give it to her. What's the share doing? 20 points Boy. now. For Getchell, 16 seconds left on the clock for the third quarter. Offensive oh, wow. foul on Nicole Fossey. Fossey. What happened there, Johnny? She was, uh, she overuse of her derriere there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a little acting job on the uh, defensive end. That's on that okay. Too. Nine seconds. They got to get a shot off here. Five. India doing a good job. Right on back there. to Gaffney. Gaffney, no good. Not going to call the foul. And that'll end three. 53 to 20, though. Glacier Peak still with a huge lead, but nice quarter by the Chargers. Yeah, they came, what'd they score? Uh, 